The World Security Patrol Sea Probe is on routine patrol in the Pacific, but danger lurks undetected in the depths. Cold alien eyes follow the sub's progress. A missile flashes from the mouth of the mechanical fish and its grotesque crew watch with evil satisfaction as sea probe disappears in a searing mass of flame and twisted metal. The World Security Headquarters in Washington DC decides this is a job for the wasps and Commander Shaw orders Troy Tempest and phones Sheridan to investigate. Minutes later, Stingray knifes out the ocean door. The route to Sea Probe's last recorded position takes the super sub past the lonely island of Lemoy. From this ramshackle house on the cliff, surface agent X20 tracks the wasp's vessel's progress and reports to his Master, the evil titan. A terrorfish is dispatched to intercept Stingray and capture its crew. Taken by surprise, Stingray falls prey to the terrorfish missile, crashing to the seabed. The impact knocks Troy and Phones unconscious. Troy wakes to find himself in Titan's throne room on trial for his life. Titan points to a huge fish which stares blankly at Troy from its wall tank. This is Typhal, the great sea god worshipped by Titan. Legend has it that he only looks on those who are friends of the undersea races. Should he turn away from Troy within one marine minute, then the aquanaut is doomed. The time is almost up when Typhal disdainfully turns his back on Troy. Marina, Titan's silent slave, can only watch helplessly as Troy is found guilty of treason. He and Phones are to be transported by terror fish to the dreaded undersea prison of Aquatras to be the sentence to be carried out. Desperate to escape the tyrant herself, Marina decides to help the Turanians. At Marineville, concerns grows over Stingray's radio silence. Aerial searches have found nothing and Shaw orders battle stations in case of an attack. The base sinks into an armoured shelter and deadly hydraulic missiles are put on standby alert. Meanwhile, en route to Aquatras, Marina secretly unties Troy's hands. Once free, he quickly overpowers the guards, holding them at gunpoint, whilst Marina frees phones. They pilot the terror fish back to Stingray, and Marina secures a line to the stricken sub, which they tow back to Marineville. That evening, much to the surprise of his girlfriend Atlanta, Troy introduces everyone to the beautiful girl of the sea who is now the latest recruit to Stingray's crew.